Do you like the new look and feel of Windows 11, but hate using proprietary software that spies on you? Well, I have a solution for you called GNU slash Linux. Well, in this case, GNU slash Linux slash systemd slash KDE. Now, you might be wondering, what are all of these big words that are separated with slashes? Well, they are the components for an operating system. GNU being the core utilities, Linux being the kernel, System D being the init system, and KDE being your desktop environment, which you can customize to look just like Windows 11 in order to wean you off of Windows. Now, I will warn you, in this wild world of Linux, it's very different than what you get with proprietary operating systems. You actually have the freedom to make choices here. It's very different than the factory farms that are owned by Microsoft, Apple, or Google. You see, those farms are all owned by city slickers with no love for the craft. They just look at their cattle, which are the users of their software, as these big, dumb, bumbling dollar signs. That's why they keep your heads locked into feeder panels all day long, where you don't get to choose what you get to feed on, and they give you all kinds of hormones that are even making the bulls start to grow udders. When you decide to switch to Linux, you're choosing to switch to greener pastures. You'll have to graze for your grass, which is very rewarding. Sure, you may occasionally stumble into a gopher hole every now and then in the form of software bugs, but the farmhands over at Tux Farms, which are the FOSS developers, they do a great job of fixing up those holes when the cows report them without taking away any of your freedoms to graze where you want, when you want. So what more could you possibly want in an operating system? So what I have going on here uh, is actually Peppermint OS uh, with the standard KDE desktop environment installed, uh, which contains about one gigabyte of software and dependencies. And once you install this, You'll have to log out and then log back in to a KDE Plasma session because by default in Peppermint OS, uh, you have a different desktop environment. I think they just call it the Peppermint desktop environment. Um, now, once you're inside of KDE like this, uh, you're going to have access to the system settings uh, menu, or at least the system settings of KDE uh, instead of Peppermint OS. Now, you could actually access this from the other desktop environments if you wanted to. Uh, you just won't actually be able to see the changes that you're making. Uh, so go into your system settings and go to workspace theme, okay? So you'll have, you'll uh, by default be under this look and feel tab. Now, you're not going to have uh, this Windows 11 OS Dark, okay? You're probably just going to have Breeze and Breeze Dark. So the way that you add this is you go down here where it says get new looks, okay? And then um, what this is gonna do is it's going to sync with, uh, these are all user-made themes. Um, so what we want to look for is Win 11, Win 11, uh, OS. That should probably be enough to find it. Okay, so there you go. You see that this is the uh, Win 11 OS Dark KDE. Uh, there's also the light theme that you could use if you enjoy blindness, but uh, in my opinion, dark themes are better, and I think most people probably prefer dark themes these days as well. Um, so then you just go ahead and install that. And once it's done installing, it's going to show up here as one of the themes that you can choose. Uh, so then select the Windows 11 OS Dark. Um, and you might also want to choose the uh, desktop theme for it as well. Um, this might automatically get pulled in. Uh, if it doesn't, then you can just do the same thing, get new themes uh, here. And same idea. Just search for Win11 OS, find the dark mode one, and um, go ahead and install that. And uh, same thing with the cursor theme too, if you want to change that. Although uh, with mine, it just brought in this Windows 10 cursors. So I guess you could use that, but honestly, I really prefer the look of just the default uh, KDE cursor, or even the classic uh, DMZ black. 
Uh, so there you go. And you may have to uh, not restart, but log out and then log back in to actually get this theme to apply. And then your desktop should look just like what I have here. Uh, you may also need to download this wallpaper. This is just the default Windows 10 dark wallpaper uh, that I installed just to try and make this look as much like Windows uh, 11 as I can make it look. So there you go. You now basically have Windows 11 without any of the side effects. You don't have to worry about Microsoft and the NSA trying to steal your data. Um, now the start menu is also by default on the left hand side, which is as God intended it to be. Instead of that stupid centrist nonsense that Microsoft tries forcing on you with Windows 11. And on top of that, you need to activate Windows. You need to actually pay for it if you wanna move it over to the left-hand side. Uh, so again, Microsoft knew what they were doing. They're greedy, but uh, Linux is free. Not just free as in price, but also free as in freedom. Now, if you installed this to hardware, you can also go ahead and install Steam plus Proton, which will make most Steam games work. And once the Steam Deck is released, we're probably just going to start seeing native support for most, if not all, Steam games anyway. So the Ma Video Games is a dying excuse for using Window. It's said only by cattle that are too intimidated to try grazing out in an open field. Cattle that are addicted to eating hay inside the headlock pens. Um, now, you might be thinking, what about my Microsoft Office, right? I need to use Office and I don't want to learn how to use LibreOffice because the user interface is ugly and it smells like Richard Stallman's foot. Well, I anticipated that you would bring up Microsoft Office and you see your excuse, it just activated my trap card. So we actually have the full Office suite. Let's go ahead and open up, uh, what is this? Microsoft Excel Online. Now, this is the reason why I actually chose to use Peppermint OS for this demonstration instead of uh, some other uh, GNU Linux distro. But again, this is something that you could install on any Linux distribution, but I kind of acknowledge that people who want to make Linux look like Windows are probably going to be beginners and they want to do as little work as possible. I totally get it. So that's why uh, Peppermint, it comes with um, basically all of these shortcuts that you saw here. Let me go back into um, Office. So everything here from, you know, Gmail, Google Calendar, uh, Google Drive, and then all of these uh, Microsoft Office tools. These are all just the web apps, right? So this is like um, Microsoft Excel online that's loading here. And basically what Peppermint OS does is it just has these shortcuts pre-created for you and they're accessible via the start menu or application launcher so that it feels like you're actually launching it locally. Now, obviously you need to be connected to the internet for something like this to work, but who's never not connected to the internet, right? Like almost everybody, especially if you're using Windows, uh, is going to be connected to the internet. And the vast majority of people who are using Microsoft Office they can use the online version through their browser just fine, especially if they can't stomach using LibreOffice or any of the other Office alternatives. Uh, the thing is, these days, the operating system that you choose doesn't really matter too much, at least as far as just doing work, uh, because pretty much all operating systems, whether we talk about Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, they're all just bootloaders for your web browser at the end of the day. And the same web browsers are available across all of these platforms. So it just makes sense to go with the safest choice, which is Linux. Fewer viruses, much less spyware. Uh, the more productive choice, I would also say is Linux because once you get it up and running, there's no compelled updates. You're not forced to update your machine when you don't want to like uh, Microsoft makes you do. Uh, those may interfere with your workflow. So all you gotta do is install Linux, install KDE, uh, change the theme to make you feel more at home if you really insist on it looking like Windows and enjoy your new life in a free range operating system.